time and it's going to come through them wanting the best for their children through healing through growth and through them being honest about the past hi everyone welcome back to no life tarot my name is Hallie. so grateful to have you all this is a channel about hot topics through a tarot perspective so it's what we can learn from the situation it's not about negative gossip so if you're interested in that this is not the channel for you i'm not judging you this is just not the platform for that okay so i was asked to do my weekly updates i haven't had a i didn't do a chance to do it last week because i did move to a new place i'm very happy that i did but that's just why i didn't do it last week i planned on recording but then i ended up finding a place really quickly and i had to move into it so that's why i didn't do it last week so my apologies life happens Okay, so I'm going to do today about Gigi and Zane and Hadid and their involvement in this whole situation. And somebody asked me the charges that will be filed <coughs> by Yolanda and Gigi if they'll be dropped because I strongly feel like they're going to get back together. So I usually am accurate, it doesn't mean I'll be accurate here. It is intuitive based, it's not fact based, so please don't treat it like it's true or false. So I pulled up the current situation. Gigi and Zane and Yolanda's involvement, you know, with the charges. Um, I am aware, since a lot of you have informed me, that Yolanda and Gigi have both filed charges against Zane. So with Seven of Swords and Seven of Pentacles, I feel like Yolanda orchestrated a lot of what happened between them. And she was like, I don't think Yolanda was happy with Zane and the direction he was headed. I strongly feel, like I've mentioned before, that Yolanda is a narcissistic mother. What they tend to do is they tend to meddle in relationships. And I think she meddled in this relationship and she coerced Gigi to file charges. So nine of cups and 10 of cups, there is definitely a chance for revival and I think it will happen. But, what I do think is that it's going to come with time and it's going to come through them wanting the best for their children, through healing, through growth, and through them being honest about the past. So with Seven of Cups being at the bottom of the deck, until she separates herself or distances herself from her mother, Yolanda, she will continue to be coerced by her. I see her saying things like, you can do better, Yolanda saying to Gigi, you can do better, look at what he's doing. And But the thing is, Gigi complains to her mother about him. So it gives her license. And I always say this, I learned my lesson a long time ago. Don't ever speak to your family or your friends ill, with ill, ill, well, what's the word? In an ill manner about your partner. Because they'll remember you forgive but they will remember for the rest of their life so you can't bring it up with them maybe talk to a therapist or somebody that is objective so a friend that's objective but if you know that your family or your friends are going to hold it against you in your relationship don't do it so with the moon ace of cups and the tower being the future for them or Tower is about surprise, and I strongly feel like Gigi and Zen are going to get close, and Yolanda is going to try to do what she did before. But this time, Gigi will see through her mother. She's going to see through her. She's going to be like, you know, I know how you operate. I know how you are. I don't believe you anymore. So with the Four and King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, they are going to move forward, and I see like. I predicted my first video of them, Gigi and Zane. I strongly feel like he's going to help her make more money, grow, and become more womanly than being like the child of Yolanda Hadi, but making her own name, doing her own thing, and being like a woman. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe for more, like the video, take care.